Truth and Clever Who Make Up Mother Nature brings to us more than just music, a vibration that expands the movement that our elders know best. Each one, teach one. Today, we have them on air with us to give us a little bit of a background about who they are, who they be, <laughs> and why they in NYC, and why they bringing us so much love out here. So, ladies, I want to know why become an activist. Why was that important to you? Hip-hop is universal. You know what I'm saying? It's one of those things that, like... <clears throat> Even if you don't, even if you don't like it or know it, you feel it. Like I was just raised um, in hip hop culture, and so it was just that was the best way that I knew how to communicate. Like, I don't even think like we chose this. Like it was just something that was just in us. Like it was the only way, like you said, for us to communicate and express <laughs> ourselves the way we we knew how. So hip hop is just that universal language. So we spoke through it. It's powerful. You know what I'm saying? Like hip hop is mad powerful, it, and there's no other profession I feel like that that is as impactful as hip hop. Facts. And where did you all get get the inspiration to name yourself Mother Nature? Uh, it wasn't even us naming ourselves. It was a collective project that we did called Mother Nature, our first project. And mm -hmm. then it just kind of blew up in our, our college town where she's originally from, Chicago. Mm -hmm. uh, Chicago, my bad. Champaign, Illinois. So what was it like growing up? What was your roots and how rooted are you that you were able to expand to where you are now? Mm. Uh, I would definitely say, like, rooted in hip-hop all day. Like, it was always that. Um, more so coming from, like, my parent, like, my mom and stuff like that just at home. It was always, like, soul type of music, R&B, that, that type of vibe. But I always still, like, spoke through hip-hop. It was always that. Mm -hmm. Starting just, like, writing poems and little raps and stuff. Before I even knew what hip-hop was, mm -hmm. I was already doing it. Mm -hmm. And then when I got to, like, college and stuff, that's when we linked up. We linked up and uh, we ended up just, just going hard at it and... From now on, it was just that weird. <laughs> One of the things I really wanted to touch base on was find out what is it like being in harmony with one another because mm. there's a lot of stigma about women working together and it being um, sort of like a, a, a conflicting uh, fuel. Always I have to be over standing you or I have to play the male's position mm. in this relationship, whatever relationship it is that comes within the business and mm. the pleasure. But what was it like to go through that process of working in harmony with each other. Man, that was a it was a beautiful thing because I come from an all male collective called the Great Thinkers, and um, I'm still a part of that collective. But I found myself not being able to fully express myself. Um, like I could, but I just didn't. Like it didn't always go over well, performance wise, or like just collectively. You know what I'm saying? Everybody couldn't really feel and tune into the things that I was talking about. So when Truth and I actually linked up and started working on music, because like we had already been cool, we had already been sisters. You know what I'm saying? Been doing community work together. Um, but when we actually linked up to make the music, it was such a like effortless process. It was just smooth. Like everything had a message. Like we were just connected. So I don't know. We've never had a weird dynamic like everything's just always been like i trust you you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying i trust you and i need you and um and shit, you know what I'm saying? You make this shit better. Yeah, yeah. Definitely like a yin and yang too, I was saying. Mm -hmm. Like we definitely balance each other out. Like mm -hmm. where she where she like maybe is, is not as strong, maybe I can pick up on that and, and vice versa. So it's always been just a balanced act for us and it was just always something that was was like effortless. I wanna I wanna find out what Mother Nature means to you though as you've grown through this process as artists working together. Mm -hmm. So what does it mean Man, to you? Man, Mother Nature is like like this is this is like personally speaking, this is my baby. Like this is like like from infancy like to seeing it, it's it's walking now, it's a toddler, like we've been rocking for like two, three years right now. And like to see it is it's growing as it as it is and, and to be like so organic, even just like connecting with y'all, like mm -hmm. this is just something like, hey, let's just throw this out and like see it, ooh, if they, they, they down with it. You know, it's black girls, so I'm like, they they'll <laughs> rock with it once they hear it. So it, it was sure. just like to see it like be so organic in the way it's growing mm -hmm. and like it is what we envision, what we spoke into existence, mm -hmm. like what our what our management team and stuff like that, like just making sure that what we have at, a, at its emphasis is what we want it to be when it's at its fullest form and, not, and no compromises whatsoever for so sure. for us to still be moving in that in that cycle and still going forth with it without any complication and still like being able to see that god is, is has us on our path and able to do what we need to do like it's just a beautiful thing it's very very much so connected so yeah. and it's a for me it's uh mother nature for me is like synonymous with healing um just my life in the past two years has has changed so much with you know mother nature and having my sisters just always around me um 
just just you know growth um actually like ever since mother nature i've kind of like haven't had my mothers in my life which is crazy but it's been replaced with this like this just for sure thing like it's really for sure and i know i can depend on them and rely on them and we just have a uh, a collective conscience you know what i'm saying like the things that I'm thinking, she's thinking, she's thinking, and we could just go out in the world and really like live our purpose together. For sure. so, I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's a blessing, so it, blessing. It is what it exactly is. And as I work with Siobhan myself, as we connected on a whole nother, how can I say, when your ground is shifting mm-hmm. and you know where you want to go and you won't settle, mm-hmm. it's difficult to say, I'm going to work with anybody. Mm-hmm. But when the ground is shifted for your purpose, Mm -hmm. you end up working with exactly who you are or who you need to grow to be. And like you mentioned about being like that yin yang. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. You need to find that balance Mm -hmm. because where that person's strength is, it meets your needs. And where that person need is, your strength meets it. And I Mm -hmm. think that's so important as, and we was mentioning earlier, as melanated woman, we talked about color and community, but we also describe color as being a vibration. Mm -hmm. That it's not the surface of, of your skin color but it is the vibration that melanin speak volumes Mm, mm. when you speak Mm. and i call it jamba juice you know you walk in your room (laughs) you just got that flavor even if you got the the suit and top you like you got flavor you got (laughs) you can't help it i am true and i am clever and we are mother nature we are living living in the process on melanin nyc